Let me explain the enormity of the universe in a way you've never heard before. Look closely at this deep sky image. Every single dot you see isn't a star. It's a galaxy. Each one contains billions of stars, planets, and worlds. Astronomers estimate there are over two trillion galaxies in the observable universe. But here's the problem. Those animations and telescope visuals often make it seem like you can just hop from one galaxy to another, as if they're floating side by side in a calm cosmic ocean. In reality, the scale is so staggering, our brains can barely process it. Let's focus on our nearest galactic neighbor, Andromeda. Under dark skies, you can see it with the naked eye, a faint, oval smudge in the night. It's the furthest object visible to the human eye, about 2.5 million light-years away. Now imagine we've built a ship capable of traveling at the speed of light. 300,000 kilometers every second, the fastest anything can move. You're sitting in the cockpit. Andromeda glows faintly in the distance. After traveling for 1.7 million years at light speed, you've come this close. Close enough to see its shape, its bright core, its spiraling arms. But don't get too excited, you're still nowhere near landing. From here, you'd need to keep flying another 430,000 years at light speed, just to get a closer cockpit view. Then another 300,000 years to reach the galaxy's edge, and another 100,000 to finally reach its center. That's two and a half million years of non-stop light speed travel for just one galaxy. And if you're still not exhausted and you decide to visit the next nearest galaxy, Triangulum, you'd need to keep flying for another three million years. That means visiting just two galaxies would take you around five to 12 million years, even at the speed of light. And remember, there are two trillion more out there. Every speck of light in the night sky is just a tiny dot in a cosmic sea so vast it makes every distance we know meaningless. The universe isn't just big, it's beyond comprehension. So the next time you look up at the stars, remember, you're not just looking at space, you're looking at infinity.